Alrighty. I'm going to start today off with some Jund Cradle. Um, which is uh, just my take on Cradle Control with a Jund Splash. Jund will give us Rorikthar in the main deck, which is like my biggest appeal. It's like a reasonable main deck card versus dumb combo decks. Hunmaster is awesome. I just miss playing it from standard. It does gain life and can kill something once it flips. Because you can actually dump your mana into a Fiend Artisan, so you actually don't cast spells and it flips pretty easily. You can actually, like, put it... It's it's You can actually tutor for this, and it triggers on the next upkeep, which is pretty funny. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I got some people with that. And then the red, you get Mages to the Moon, which is the biggest upside. Alpine Moon, which I have Lakes for Saga and Opposing Cradles. And then uh, Minsk and Boo, because I didn't know what I wanted my last card to be. It was a Caracas, then I had a Minsk and Boo, so, you know, whatever. Oops, I have it as... I very rarely have multiple decks built, so I don't want to register the wrong one. <laughs> Alright. The old double natural order work there, hand. Okay, imagine playing three Besages, that would just be insane. Definitely gonna keep this, get rid of a Besage, you're done. And let's just get a Reclaimer. Okay. Oh, Arkans list potentially. It seems like they don't have a counter spell. I think it's like getting Shepard is probably still the safest. Like maybe you're supposed to get like Ignoble Hierarch or something. But with Cradle already. Like if we just get a Rurik Thar down, this is gonna deal a lot to them. The only good thing, the only rough thing is like to um. Two rhinos could trade like uh, trade profitably with uh, Rurik there, so might just want to develop the board a little bit. That could just be a fire ice, which would be annoying. Yeah. Oh, getting rid of the reclaimer. Okay, interesting. Okay. See if they have like a shardless here. If they don't have a shardless, we have to assume it's violent outburst. So we have to assume eight toughness. So we have to get through for twenty six with a natural order, which I think would require a one or a two drop. Uh, if I hit a 1 or 2 drop, it would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25. We would actually be 1 short. Uh, and then they have Shardless, which is 2 more power. Okay, that's annoying. Oh my god, they have all Rhinos in hand? Is that true? Oh my god. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. That's something. We'll take those against rhinos. Hmm. They are a five-color deck, so it seems like mages might be good. Uh, oof! Doesn't have text. Maybe progenitus. The rough thing is they can just go like double spirit gun and we die. And again, this is sort of I consider like a rate of flame deck that probably uh I 
I know if you want wasteland. I mean, Scoobal, I guess, can make four fours, which isn't irrelevant. Do we want snuff out just to like kill a rhino? I'm gonna cut this because it's not great. Endurance actually doesn't do anything. <laughs> Three four versus four four tramplers don't sound awesome. Could bring in Thoughtseize, I guess. Mm, I have no idea how you're supposed to sideboard for five color rhinos. So let's just uh, the old turn to Thoughtseize, but. Goal is to draw a fetch or a bayou. I mean, if not, we still have like, like the whole thing is like we still have a game plan, so I think we can keep. Thoughts is just nice. We can get that progenitus out. Okay, that's slow. I like that. Ooh, we ripped the bayou. I think I'm gonna play Ignoble out though. The upside is just too high. And they run so many. They're on eight of those effects, so. It's not unreasonable. Their hand is like Land Spirit Guide and another thing. Let's see, this is. Like, Fire Ice is the only thing that's really bad. Let's see if they wanna fire it or if they wanna like ice us. Icing us would be like a reasonable play. Okay. Let's thought see if forces. Oh, wow. This is interesting. I think I have to take Brazen Borrower here and then run this out. Like it's pretty fucked if they draw a red red food card, but <laughs> it looks like they just drew like a shardless instead. Which is like a little annoying, I guess. Alright, so the hand is Fury and Force a little. Um God, that's absolutely insane. I was going to say it's one of the only ways we could lose, I guess. I mean, if they attack with everything here, we're definitely just going to trade the Fiend Artisan, I think. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to read that in a second. Let's see. They are going to attack. Are they going to attack with everything, huh? If I block, 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 I take four. And then they have four, eight, 12, 13, 14 power. That's a lot of power. So what I could do here is block here and instead of trading. So I take six, go to 12. I sack Ignoble Hierarch for Huntmaster, go to 14. It makes a, then I flip it to a 4-4 on their turn, kills Shardless. That leaves them with 4, 8, 12, 14 power. And I would be at 14. I would die if they drew a red card for Fury because I couldn't chump. Now I get the wolf token still, right? Yeah, I think I have to do this. I 
Your hand is forced a little fury. Well, that's a good. I could go like green, green. I could play that. I'm gonna attack for eleven. I guess it doesn't flip now though. Is there anything else I can get that's good? I can get a Grist or I can get a, a Hunt Master, huh? Oh, wait, could I have just gotten Hoof? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. I just could have gotten Hoof. God damn it. Would Hoof have won? I guess they could triple block, but I probably win next turn. But let me see this. Uh, it's very beat up. Double face. It's possible to cut or identify to my deck. However, when you hold up a blue spot in the card in the top center. Uh, I mean, huh. if it's if it's a legitimate magic card, I, sh I should rush you though. Um, it depends if it's a real magic card, dude. It might you might have gotten scammed. I mean, if it's a real magic card, if it's in bad condition but you can't identify it, I mean, I guess it's not the the worst thing ever. Um, yeah, I definitely fucked up here. For yeah, I could have paid it. Damn, it's so dumb. Now, if I sack this to kill one of these, that's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If they draw a red card for Fury, I die. Is there any situation I can go in where <laughs> if they draw a red card, I don't die? Hummaster puts me to 14. If they kill both of them, I'm at 14. Then there's 4, 8, 12... 13, 14, no, that won't work. Yeah, dude, I don't know. This doesn't sound promising, if, if I'm being honest. It's a follow. Cast Haven, what's up? Mm. Damn, I can't believe I missed that creator hoof. I'm rusty. I haven't played this deck in a Like, I haven't been playing this enough. Gris sack this, kill this, makes this a 4-4, four, four. red kills it, and then 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, damn. I mean, if you bought it from Star City, it's not, like it's probably legitimate, but yeah, it's just a matter of would it be legal, that's, that's tough, man. Mm-hmm. Damn, double shardless is so brutal. We could have beat a violent outburst. We died to any red card. We beat any land or like what loses to Brazen Borrower? I guess Gris loses to Brazen Borrower. Alright, let's just do this then. Damn. I can't believe I I mean I can't believe I was gonna say I can't believe I threw this, but I one hundred percent believe I uh <laughs> blew it. Um yeah, dude, I mean, just bring it to a judge and, like, in a sleeve that you plan on playing with. And if, you know, it's the whole thing about can they realize it or not. Yes, 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 yes. Didn't fuck up. Right. I mean, I did fuck up, but it didn't cost me, I mean. Awesome. Um... Damn, dude. Yeah, I, I just have to bring it to a judge at the event and the sleeve you're going to play in. And if you, like, double... If you have those hard sleeves and you can't tell it from your other cards, you know? Confetti. Yeah, I mean, it's just, like... It would be, like, during a deck check, honestly. You know what I mean? Like, if, if a judge could cut to it, that's what I believe is, like... Yeah, no one's gonna be like, oh, that cradle's worn, it's obviously fake. Like, no, I don't think people would... No one I know would do that, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I'm keeping... 
four lands, a lot of lands. Hmm. Doomsday, it's looking like. I was like, if they get land screwed, then, uh, yep. <clears throat> I think I have the crop rotation for, Hopefully they think I'm just trying to get like a fetch to pump this. <clears throat> Hopefully they don't have dark rit. Like where there's a hope. What's up, Mike? I'm ready to get a uh, doomsday right here. Like hopefully they don't have dark rit. Obviously they have fucking dark rit. Obviously they have dark rit. <laughs> Uh, I like thinking my decisions matter, but it's all just all a troll. <clears throat> yeah, people do some stupid shit like that. Like, I, I don't think I've ever called a judge on someone for... <laughs> for for like, you know, something being fucked up. The only time I've seen it like where it was probably noticeable was like an F&M and I'm like, you know, I, I don't know if this person's malicious and I'm not gonna like argue over it, but I've never seen it at a big event. Me per, I mean like, I obviously just like my opponent event. All right, so I have four damage here, which, and I, I do have a hoof, one, two, three, four mana. If they don't have, if they can't win this turn and don't have four for days, we can win. So, not too much to ask, right? <laughs> not too much to ask. And of course, they have it. Like when, like. <laughs> We go for the play that forces them to like need to have another land and a cantrip, and they had another land and a cantrip. Yeah, and then they get the LED cycle, blah blah blah. We get to pretend like it was a good game. It's so fucking irritating. Just literally didn't matter at all. Okay, four thought seasons. Magus. Noxious. Uh, how many cards is that? Seven cards. Oh no, I mean, they're not going to play around endurance. Like, they, they, they were dead, like, they're dead to natural order, right? So they're just going to. It was just like if they had, like, if they just didn't have the brainstorm, was more the question. Like, they needed. They needed an additional land, a dark ritual, like, and a brainstorm. Or a ponder, I guess. But, like, they needed those three to be, like... I mean, they had Doomsday on top, you know? So, like, I think our Wasteland line was good. It was just, you know... I think our, our line is very is playing to win and 100% correct. And it's just... They had it all, you know? That's why Doomsday is a good deck. <laughs> because they always have it all. Mike always has it all. The guy has like 50 trophies. Uh. How should we set a board? I'm a little rusty.
cuts like grist in things that cut proper and go. Uh, High master can come out. I like he cuts grist. I like grist because of they, they always have like opposition agent. No, I mean I guess like why doesn't brain like why doesn't ponder work? Like if they oh they I guess because I mean ponder would work if they had like you know I guess like a cycler or LED in hand right. Yeah, exactly. Uh... Dad, I like everything. I guess you have to cut grist. Like, what else are we cutting? I'm gonna cut crop rotation. I just crop rotted for. Oh damn! I'm about to time out. Uh, I'm just gonna submit. Damn! I just realized there was one second left. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna keep. It has endurance. It has a mages that can punk them. So. And ask me if I needed a run. Oh, yeah. This is... Who else is having fun? Who else is having fun? I know I am. <laughs> Mike, if it's not enough, then what, you know, what are we doing here? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, dude. They do have a pedal. It depends how their pile is, I guess. I need like an oof also. What do I want to draw off the top? I don't even know. Cherry Cola. Yeah, if they go for an LED line, we can endurance and then mages. And then we had like natural order hoof probably before they can get like the LED. And they would need like another Oracle also. So. I love how they, they, they spent five minutes on like two doomsday piles. That's where I like oops. Like we're we're both doing Thassa's Oracle, but I'm I'm just upfront about it. I'm just like <laughs> How about they just time out? Nope. Uh oh, LED. Pedal pedal. Alright, where's the counter magic? Uh force. For alright, they have force in hand. So, they're going to pass the turn, though? Hmm. 
if they have force in hand, what's the best play? Their pile has what island? They put an island in their pile. There's one edge here, so there's like an edge in a street race. Well, how does Force Cycler's Oracle beat Thoughtseize into Endurance? Unless they put Force in the pile. The issue is, here's my issue. If I Moon and they have Island and three Cyclers, then one Force beats my Endurance. That That's my thing. Right? Because I don't see an Island here. And I think they run one Island. So if it's like Island, you know, Cycle, Cycle, Cycle... Oracle, I die. Because if they, they have a force for my endurance. I think I'm going to thought seize. Does that make sense, Mike? Last time I didn't listen to you, I was wrong. So, but, but that's my mindset. Is that... One, two... I see two underground seas. I see one, two, three more pedals, and LED. So they should have like one underground sea, one island in in the pile. So they probably have underground sea and island to beat uh, like a Basaju. I think I'm gonna thought sees. Yeah, I think Thought Seize Endurance is better than Magus Endurance. Yeah, and then Moon the following turn. Yeah. That's what I think. I should play the Cradle first in case I need to tap it for mana. Like if they have like a Fatal Push, I guess. Not like I'm ever going to take a Fatal Push. So forces in the pile. Do I think So the pile would be what? C Oracle Island, Force, Oracle? Is the pile Oracle, Oracle, Island, Sea, Force? Yeah, I think we take Branch. I'm just trying to think of their pile and if we want to Endurance now. I think I want to endurance now. Because if they get the untap, they could use the underground sea, then edge of ultimate. And if they want to edge of ultimate force, I don't want them to be able to use the sea. I think it's take I think it's take brainstorm. I agree, but it's just like the rest. Okay. If I endurance now, and I'm going to have to pitch my 
Natural order. But the thing is, it's like, if we, like, say we let them ponder and then they add devote them to the force anyway. I think I'm going to do it now. I think I'm going to do it now. They might cycle and force this if they're worried about what I can get with it. In which case, I should have led with Fiend Artisan, maybe? I don't know. It's tough. Well, this can get oof. Man, this is weird. Yeah, I think I think force is on top. The only reason this would be on the stack for for how long as it is is because they have a force on top. If there's a force, they have to force this because this can just tutor some like bullshit card that they're not thinking of that could beat them. I think anyway. This could get like meddling mage. They let it go. Okay. I think Force had to be on top. Unless they're just like real like Hollywooding for two minutes with the uh, Edge of Autumn. Okay. So island is gone. They have, they have doomsday and what else was it? that they put there? It was one of the card, right? Oh, the brainstorm that I put back. Hmm. Man, a spirit of labyrinth would be pretty sick here, huh? This is why I need to be running like more bullshit cards. For situations like this. I have four mana. I can hard cast endurance. I can hard cast an endurance, then cycle the endurance for like a dryad arbor. I feel like Mages of the Moon doesn't do anything now versus Island. I guess it still constricts the blue mana. The thing is, it, so so if the top of their library is just like Oracle, Oracle, Underground Sea, let's see, they draw a card, they cycle, and they could cantrip one more time. They could just play, they could play two Oracles in the same turn. I don't know, I feel like I'm just messing this up every way possible. I'm not happy. Man, 
Maybe something that makes it a, just a little harder. It stops double oracle. I mean, if they force pitching personal tutor, then their hand is edge of autumn. And I think that the top, yeah, okay. So we were, uh, we were definitely right. Okay. So I can attack for four, I guess. If the top two cards are Underground Sea Oracle, I die, and I'm pretty sure they are. No, Underground Heavy, Undersea Oracle, Oracle? Okay. Okay. So we can Endurance again. So I attack for four and then endurance. It puts three on the bottom. And then I have like two lethal attackers. Oof doesn't do shit. <laughs> Oof won't do anything. We just died to an oracle. So we have to attack to force a block. Because they have this in hand, right? And they have Oracle on top. So if they have another Oracle... So we have to force a chump to get rid of the Devotion. And then we have to Endurance them. How about Exalted, huh? And that's why, and I have to do it main phase in case like the last card is like Pact of Negation for some reason, right? I, I have to do it now. Yeah, if Magus a hundred percent, if Magus was on the battlefield, I agree. Yes. Ugh. Yeah, the Magus the Magus Oof combo is is real, a hundred percent. Oh man. That was nice, nice, nice. I right, played that one well. I'm very happy. I'm very happy how we played it. All right, that was 61 cards. I have to cut a card. Um, I don't know what I want to cut. Honestly, I might cut a Reclaimer. I know Newton would kill me, but it was probably like a Reclaimer. Reclaimer just so slow. Like, I want to be thought, like, I, I don't want to, I, like, I just don't want to be Reclaimer on one. It's, like, sort of like Fiend Artisan and Oops. It's just, like, so slow. Except this can get, like, something that wins the game instantly. No one tell Newton, okay? But I think, I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, man. This is, uh... This is a fucking tough one, man. Jeez. The White Splash version? Yeah, the White Splash version is really good because of you get a like, Spirit of the Labyrinth for like this type of matchup. This, I mean, I'm going to keep. I'm definitely going to keep Bottom Creator. Hit. I always have the fucking Dryad Arbor, though. The White Flash is cool. I'll play a White Splash if someone donates. Just <laughs> donate, buddy. And uh, we'll see some White Splash.
the old mold of five turn one doomsday were dead let's see God, Once Upon a Time is so good. Just such a good card. Yeah, Rurik Thar. No, I didn't want it in hand. Like, I did, you know, didn't want it in hand. But uh, when you have Hoof and Rurik Thar in hand, <laughs> you're going to keep the Rurik Thar. Oh, great. Uh, awesome. The old slow roll turn one doomsday. Awesome. The old mold of five. Nice, 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 nice. Cool, 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 cool. This is reasonable. It's pretty reasonable. Remember when you had to play Laboratory Maniac? Like, let's go back to those times. <laughs> let's go back to the Laboratory Maniac days. Uh, where is a white version? I got somewhere. I keep renaming it. Um, something like this. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Spirit of the Labyrinth, Anointed Peacekeeper, and Archon. You probably don't want Anointed Peacekeeper. I think Spirit of the Labyrinth is awesome now to be able to tutor. Good against all those whole breacher decks. Good against uh, Doomsday. It's probably enough that you want it. So, Brutal Cathar is great. All right, After, damn, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hit insane. We're gonna have to like once into shepherd and naturally draw an endurance. Can we do that? Can we hit a one of into a four of? How about that? Absolutely brutal game, though. Ugh. All right, let's see. They're not putting deep analysis or LED. Jeez, they just snapped. Put. Are we just like? And a relic. Okay, that's what a mold of five. Holy shit! Huh, <laughs> reclaimer. That's why I cut one. There's one Lotus Petal in the deck. They're going to draw. The two cards are going to be Lotus Petal Oracle, right? Damn, it's so fucking unlucky, man. 
The turn one win. Oh, it's so frustrating. With nothing we could do. God, it's so irksome. Yeah, it was just Oracle, Oracle, right? Last two cards, yeah. God. Yeah, there was no set of cards that would have be, be them. Feels real bad. <laughs> Feels really, really bad when you just get, like, slaughtered on a mold of five, have your hate cards, and it doesn't matter. All right. Let's try to have a less depressing game. Elvis Spirit Guide to the rescue. Oh, they were on goblins? Oh, Jesus. So we'll go Spirit Guide, Ignoble, Gaius Cradle, Ignoble. Pretty good start. I think Spirit Guide's great in the deck. I think Spirit Guide's awesome. Like, Dork, Dork, Cradle? Holy shit, man. <laughs> like, fuck. It's kind of cracked. Yeah, if we just had an Endurance, right? We could have Endurance the land and the Doomsday with the Relic on the stack. Sucks. Yeah. Yep, sure. We actually just we just get to play a Grist now. It's so nuts. Oof. I'm not supposed to get Fiend Artisan, but like locking this out is so big. <laughs> okay. You got it, man. I guess I could have just attacked with Oof with Exalted. Little little silly mistake on my part. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can attack with a 3-3, three, three, sure. <laughs> no attacks. Nice. Ground control to nature town. Six. 
God, I, I have not faced fucking goblins in a minute. Opposition agent and bajuka bug are bad, I guess. Thar seems terrible. Hmm. Probably an endurance, maybe. Oh man, these his hands are, are starting to get to me. This is ground attack, ground control. Just so brutal. You just like lose to a lackey. Nice. Ah. Uh. Can't just run this out. <laughs> like munitions experted right away. Feels bad. Okay. Have to get a fucking throw it over here. <sighs> they only have three cards left. See if they pay for the echo. Probably won't. Okay. See if they have red source or black source rather. And there's the black mana, of course. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, it's not unreasonable, but it's annoying. Interesting. Interesting. Two in hand. No block. See what they get here. If they get like a munitions expert, we'll just go progenitus. If they get something expensive, we're gonna wasteland play fiend artisan, I think. It's a four four currently. I don't think it's food chain. Twin shot sniper. Okay. And they have pyrokinesis. Magic's just magic's a game sometimes, huh? Last card was Pyrokinesis. <laughs> yep. Right, what do I need? I need, I need like I need some stuff. Nope. Yeah, the the last card had to be Pyrokinesis. I mean, sometimes they have the Pyrokinesis. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, checks out. It's a good mulligan. Good mulligan. Always these fucking dried arbors. <laughs> I just really can't stand it. Just always draw a fucking dried arbor. <sighs> oh man. Like this card, this card just wins the game on its own. So like, I feel like you have to keep it. Let's try to find a one drop. Okay. 
Joker. So, do we just play into the biggest pyrokinesis blood of our life? Yeah, sure, fuck it. If you're just going to be drawing lands, I mean, we just don't have any other plans, so whatever. They're fetching the thin, which is nice. Munitions expert was like, not always going to get us, but like, I have no way to make it not get us. Yeah, that's frustrating, but I just don't have any tools right now. We <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Cool, 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 cool. That's it's reasonable, reasonable stuff. Reasonable stuff. You know, sometimes the magic odds just don't want you to have it. And it, it is what it is. Three draws. That's it. Two draws and a once upon a time. We hit land, land, ignoble. Like, we really need a natural order there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We've got nothing to green send for, right? I guess Huntmaster is like, is fine. Could get feed. Fiend dies to everything right now. I want to gain life and like make them have action. It gives you an extra chumper here. I, I just feel like like two. Pa it's just two power right now. Maybe you're supposed to get fiend, but I think like utilizing the mana to do to get this is, is pretty nice. It's like more bodies in case we draw the natural order for uh for hoof. Uh, probably just going to take two here. Watch well, I might play like Toxic Deluge or something. <laughs> yeah, tw like, so Twin Shot Sniper would have killed Fiend Artisan. We gained two life and got a wolf. So it's like something... It's 10 lands and 14 cards. <laughs> it's actually 10 lands and 14 cards, huh? I could besage you this. I mean, I'm supposed to be safe to do this now. It would ramp on the Muxus, though. I'm going to pass. I mean, like, our decisions aren't really mattering unless we just, you know, draw something that isn't land. Okay. I'm just going to take two here. I only have one fetchable land in the deck, so... I guess let's get it. Um, is that enough? 
four, let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25. I didn't think about that. I was thinking about waste on cradle. How much is this? 17? Oh my god, if they just block with twin shot, we could besage you it. Oh my god. Yeah, I was not thinking about waste on that. Makes sense. It's literally just 17. Like, what if they just, like, throw this, like, underneath something? Oh my god. Because this has value, this has value, this doesn't. Twin shot makes the most sense to throw under a creature. Oh my god. <laughs> it worked! It worked! Oh man. <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. I'm glad I held it beside you. Oh man. Nice night. We, we, we. Like, honestly, look at this game. We drew 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 out of 17 cards for lands, and we won. That's kind of sick. <laughs> That's kind of sick. Jason Johnny Bravo, the old one lander to compensate. Do I upload to YouTube, Ming? There you go, buddy. Share that link for people who like legacy that isn't Delver. You got it. Take care. Have a nice evening. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully it's just not fucking Dover. Oh my god, it's so fucking boring. Really would have liked to draw another land, but you know, it is what it is, I guess.
So after this, I don't know if I, I don't know if I was gonna play, I'll play some ninja. This ninja list just um five owed and it's running Chromox and Rograk and two consign oblivions. Like this the list just looks insane. So I, I'm I'm very <laughs> intrigued by it and I kinda wanna play it. Or I have like a normal ninja list. Um consign oblivion over brazen bar is it's pretty wild to me. Cause you can like brazen bounce, play it. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. I'm falling asleep while they're spend two minutes casting two spells. Um, uh, but I, th I honestly don't even. I don't even look at Delver lists. <laughs> like I just genuinely can't even. Let's let's look. Let's be good to know. They are running. The one that won the challenge is running zero. They're running one uh, rough tumble instead. A buffalo chicken dip, one rough tumble. Yeah, it seems like rough tumble. It seems like rough tumble is more popular. Though I'm sure I'll get hit by end of festivities. Okay, how about a land? A, a land would just be chef's fucking kiss, huh? How about cradle off the top? Cradle off the top would just make me so happy. Play oof, natural order, you're dead. Good game, well played, hard fought both sides. Oh my god, you remember when that player timed out? That was nuts. <laughs> On reanimator and my fucking opponent timed out. <laughs> we what to do. We got a four outer. Four outer that wins the game, basically. Let's go. Eight percent. Nope. It is a land. It's a land though. So let's, let's just uh, crack a fetch. And they milled a wasteland. All right. So I'm just gonna pass here. We could hold up an endurance or a or a cradle. Like it's like this seems so. Why would you crack bubble here? Like I'm, I'm gonna shuffle my deck. You could have seen what I drew for turn. It's, it's so weird. Going to the fishies in the deep blue sea. All right, but what do people want to see after this? I'll start a poll. How about this? I'll start a poll. I never utilize this, right? Manage poll. New poll. Um... Is that true? Is that is that really true? Uh, I'll set it for ten minutes because we have time. Because I like obviously <laughs> a Delver and a Burke died. Oh God, I'm fucking falling asleep, man. Boys and girls. All right, I got a poll going. People pick the next deck. Or you could donate, and I'll play a deck of your choice. So there you go. Those are your options. You got four options. Yeah, this one looks weird. It's Rograx, son of Roga. <laughs> we got some Moon Circuit Hackers, Thousand Phase Shadows. The regular Ninja list is just like Baleful Strixes and uh, Brazen Borrowers. This is a pretty standard run-of-the-mill. And then uh, 
you know, I'll just throw some white cards in this deck and it's the same shit. So, mm -hmm. run some Spirit of Labyrinth, some Brutal Cathars. Um, what else can we run? I gotta, I gotta just name, I keep changing the name every fucking stream so I lose it. Ooh, Palace Pod. Yeah, so Spirit Labyrinth, Brutal Cathar, uh, Archon. Archon of Valor's Reach is nice also. Um, yeah. Or we could build a new deck with how much time I currently have. <laughs> There's times when I'm making YouTube videos and I'm like, how the fuck is it this long? Like, I, I just don't understand how it's this long. And it's like, oh, just one person took forever. Uh... So I can evoke endurance. Tap this for four. Yeah. Okay. Sack. Nah, it still doesn't work, right? Uh, or the four, eight, twelve is probably enough. Probably enough. Yeah, twenty one. Because I shrunk it, it's enough. Cool. Nice. We we. <laughs> how long did we? Like, I think we 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 made, we took like one minute off our clock. Um. All right, how are we sideboarding for Delver? Collector Oof, Opposition Agent, Crop Rotation, Collector Oof, Opposition Agent, Snuff Outs are good, Gristus seems good. That's probably it. It's pretty clean. Ninjas with Chrome Mox, four votes. Look at that. Uh, yeah, it's a keep. Pretty, pretty reasonable. Would like to draw a couple more mana sources, but let's see how it goes. Turn one, Delver. A rough tumble would be a blowout. I think a three for one. Okay. It's like end waste. No, okay. I think I'll probably just go get a grist here. I'm mean, just like not get a grist, but play my grist. Forcing my grists. Yeah, that's awesome for me. Love seeing that. I 
Touching away a force. Okay. Looking for action, perhaps? It's a miracle trigger? What the fuck? And Wasteland, that's pretty pretty obnoxious. Scared of endurance. All right, bud. Oh, my God, that feels so fucking nasty. Pretty good. Yeah, cool. Good game. All right. Let's see if we can get a 4 1 with the only loss being to those ridiculous doomsday hands. I'm going to play some Chrome Mox Ninjas. So we have four moon circuit hacker. This thousand phase shadow is the weird one. When it enters the battlefield, if it is attacking, create a token that's a copy of another target attacking creature. So when you need to do it, you need to have another attacking creature for it to be like relevant. Blog boy won the die roll. Like a, like a very good magic player, which is awesome. They've only played trophied one time and it was with a mono black the pox. Yeah, pox list, that's funny. Uh damn. Nice wasteland idiot. Jeez. Alright, it's a pretty good one. We'll keep a rue this. Bottom one of the fiend artisans. Then the five. Love to see it. Just love to see it. Like, some, like a smallpox would be insane right here. It would make me really upset. Innocent blood is like... Yeah, it's annoying, but it's not nearly as backbreaking. Huh. Am I supposed to fetch here? Yeah, ninja's one. Uh, yeah, I'm probably supposed to fetch here. Just like opposition agent shenanigans. Again, smallpox is going to get us no matter what. Just how it goes when you run into this type of deck. Okay. Dark red opposition agent, sure. Um. They have three cards left. This is, this is a match where like Hunt Master is actually like crazy irrelevant. Crazy irrelevant. Sure. Liliana the Veil. It's a really brutal. Or a smallpox, yeah. It's pretty annoying. 
Pretty annoying. Let's get rid of Cradle. Okay. They get a two for one. No, well, not really, but. Mm. Yeah, I was going to, like, green send for something else, but I think, like, getting two creatures in play is, is a big deal. Because either one can, like, attack a Lily and kill it. If four mana is a lot. Let's just, like, natural order. I'm really good at drawing fucking Dryad Arbors, though. Let's just, let's get that on the record. I like how I draw all these fucking Dryad Arbors after <laughs> all the Edicts have been cast. Stellar. Stellar, stellar, stellar. No more Fetchables even in the deck. That's cool, that's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands are out of the deck. Is that true? We only have four non lands. It is true. Jesus Christ. Mm. Literally <laughs> only can draw lands. All right. Uh,. 11 lands drawn. Nice, nice, nice. This is pretty aggressive blocking on their part. They could, like, try to untap and make a 1-1. One, one. And they rip a tabernacle! <laughs> is this real life? Is this real fucking life, man? Is this just, just too fucking much? God. <sighs> Feud Artisan's a, uh, a big boy. God, their draws have been pretty frustrating. I don't have any fetchables left. I, I, I actually am out of... I drew so many lands, I'm out on turn... Like, holy fuck, that feels bad. That's so unfortunate. We'll get Reclaimer, because Reclaimer has to get us a Cradle to have a shot here. Damn, this is... <laughs> this is, like... Kind of, kind of silly. Kind of silly. Now pay one for your...
They rip another Castle Lockwain. How many Castle Lockwains could they possibly run? Are they really attacking? No. That's wild. That's a wild attack. Uh, that's a hot one. With the Cradle, that's a hot one. Especially versus a deck that doesn't run many spells. So if they don't play anything and it flips. Um, I can attack with just this, I think. For, yeah. If they make a 1-1 one, one and chump, that's fine. It's something that won't turn into, uh, and also, like, if they want a castle, this is some free damage. Whereas if I attack with Fiend Artisan, they'd probably chump, so just getting in some damage here is, is legitimate. Yep, they draw a card. They're gonna have to pay one. Luckily, all the edicts are dead, basically. Urborg. So Tabernacle can tap for mana. What pox card did they rip that I'm gonna be? Uh, we can we can probably beat that. Oh no, they can yeah, because they can create a like on my upkeep, but I'm just gonna kill it, right? It doesn't matter. I think it matters too too much. Oh, and snaring bridge. And snaring bridge is like a little annoying, but I'm just I'm gonna get grist. So it's, it's like. Oh, my Winslow Teeth taps for black now. That's actually relevant. That's actually like a legitimate thing, right? Um, so I'm going to get rid of the wolf token for Grist and and then sack my ignoble hierarch, I guess. I'm gonna pretend like I don't know I can use that, I think. I don't have anything funky else to get, right? I get ramen up. I'll get Raman up next turn. Raman up next turn to get Dryad Arbor should win the game, I think. Because okay. Raman up can start playing Dryad Arbors. game the grist ultimate can win in a couple turns for sure six creatures already and they're drawing before playing a land or casting a spell Oh, they are going to thought seize. They're going to go to eight here, though. 
The thing is, if they draw a card, if it's a spell and they play it, I flip my Hunt Master, which is pretty awesome. Okay. I probably shouldn't be using Cradle for this, but... Yeah, because I could take up, like... Yeah, right. So, this Besage is an absolutely comically good draw. Can I attack for lethal? No, because they can animate and do stuff. Yeah, definitely. We're, we're not there yet. We're close, though. I can actually just get Wasteland back, which is kind of sweet. fucking game yeah I probably should have waited for their upkeep I mean if, if I die because they have one extra mana it's on me alright there's empty alright cool 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 so I think we I don't want to say a win Though, if I was, I, I should be able to besage you and hoof, right? This is like, once you. Don't be smallpox. It'd be so obnoxious. If they really just castle into smallpox. Okay, that's fine. They did. They castled into smallpox. That's so absurd. Though Huntmaster flips, right? Which is pretty good. There you go, buddy. Endurance is, is pretty reasonable. I milled a cra <laughs> I milled crater hoof, which is a little irritating. Let's play wasteland. Let's waste the castle so they can stop drawing these extra cards. And I actually didn't play anything, so Huntmaster will flip back, which is pretty great. Put him to three. Yep, this Huntmaster has been <laughs> doing work. This Huntmaster. <laughs> sure. You have a Leon of the Veil. Okay. I'm actually going to hold this Endurance to try to like double spell. Flip this back. I can get a Rurik Thar. I forgot I can get a Rurik Thar here. I forgot this on my deck because I'm such a good deck builder. Because this will stop, like, the then now, like. Yeah, this is going to be pretty nice. I stopped to use my Grist. Now with Ensnaring Bridge, if they draw non-creature spells. Ha! Rourke Thar and Huntmaster. Taking it down. That's pretty fucking hilarious. Rourke Thar and Huntmaster to the rescue. It's like standard from 20... 13 or something. 
Um, this is a way to win through stuff. I don't think it's going to do anything. New factions seem reasonable. Don't need this. Um, Spirit Guide probably seems bad versus Smallpox deck. Gris seems great. Mages actually seems really good. Um, Progenitus seems great. Do you want Thought Seizes? Bog probably doesn't matter. Wasteland was good. Crop Rotation. I didn't see Wastelands from them, right? They're probably just, like, I don't think that's probably... I guess it's important that I find Cradle for Tabby. Um, opposition agents seem great. I don't know if I want three things. Because I'm going to need a couple creatures out before this relevant. I guess Endurance doesn't do anything. Let's try it with the three and see what happens. Ninjas up next. This ninja list is pretty wild. Just trophied, so see how good it turns out to be. What does this card even do? It's like first strike, menace, and trample. I guess the menace aspect is interesting. Keep, I guess. I don't think you want a mulligan versus like the him to Turok smallpox deck. Yeah, the sideboard has uh, two null rods. Forces, surgicals, plague engineers. They got rid of the green sun. I mean... The thing is, you can't not play in the smallpox, I guess, right? Like, and they have the him. All right, your turn. Saga. Yeah, 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 that major movement was gonna fuck them up, huh? Opposition agent? God, it feels like such an opposition agent. I don't think I can play around it. Be pretty annoying. Okay. Got last there. Mike, you remember when uh Huntmaster and Rurkthar were in standard? I feel old as shit. And I just flipped my Huntmaster the same turn it came into play. <laughs> it 
It's so dumb. I love it. You gonna sack at the retrofitter? Sure, buddy. No problem. What's the deal? Okay. All right, four one. Nice. Honestly, the only loss was like turn one fucking uh, turn one doomsday game three on a mold of five with a like with a cantrip and a fetch like sucks. Uh, overall, really good performance. Uh, the red splash was really good. The hot master was really good. Like the list felt really nice. We beat a Delver. We beat a Goblins. We beat a Pox. Lost the doomsday. Um, overall, yeah, super fun.